Are you ready to expand your life in reality? Join us for the next hour with Jamie Bates as she shares life-changing thoughts, techniques, and awarenesses to help you expand your reality. Hello and welcome. I am Jamie Bates, consciousness facilitator and expander of realities. My mission with my radio show is to create greater awareness of what is possible and to expand you beyond the limitations of this reality. I am grateful that you're joining me today. And today I am talking about how this reality's matrix system operates, okay? And why it's so hard for you to not be the effect of everyone in everything. So today I'm going to be sharing all about form and structure, how the form and structure of this reality is set up, really, and why you are continuously the effect of it energetically, and how what you have stored as real and true creates the way that your life is showing up. So I am... Just well, I, I guess I just have actually finished up a free series that is available right now on my website, www.jamie.bates.com. And in that free series, essentially, this is a lot of what we're talking about in that free series. And I wanted to kind of continue to elaborate on this and also um, invite you into, if you haven't yet signed up for my free series, again, you can go to my website, sign up on the, the home page, uh, or actually you can look at the free series page and really, really just shed more light on how we function energetically in this reality and how that really creates how our reality is showing up. And in the free series, um, I feel like I kind of dig a little bit deeper. I share some personal experiences. So if you haven't signed up yet for that yet, you want to. And I also have videos in there as well that you can watch. And I have some links to some worksheets that talk about the same stuff. So you can really get clear about even what you have stored, which we are going to talk a little bit about today. Uh, But it's, I feel like once you kind of understand how this reality works, how the matrix system in this reality works, and how you work energetically as a infinite being, right? Of this, all this energy, space, and consciousness, and how what you have stored in your energy, space, and consciousness, and again, this is kind of like your belief systems, right? What you believe to be real and true, uh, what you have experienced in this in this life. Um, I'm going to kind of dive a little bit deeper into that as well. But all of that is stored and then you actually start creating your reality based off the storage system. So today we're going to really talk about that. We're going to dive into what that means for you and perhaps why you are kind of cycling in the same energy space and consciousness and it feels like no matter what you're doing no matter what you're trying or maybe even sometimes you feel a lot better and then other times you you have these really like terrible awful days which turn into um, terrible awful weeks which really turn into you know a downward spiral we're going to talk about why that keeps happening to you and what you can really do to to shift and change that today energetically. And I want to take uh, this opportunity to invite you into my new program that is starting in November 11th. Today is October 30th, 2019, and this new program starts 11-11-2019, so it starts in November 11th, 2019. So I want to touch on the new program. I want to kind of explain to you um, what we're going to be diving into. And if you've been listening to my radio show and you are really, truly committed to uh, shifting and changing, creating something different in your reality, you do seriously not want to miss this new program because it's going to be amazing and awesome and all kinds of other things. So today we're going to kind of get back to the topic here. So today we are talking about um, how this reality's matrix system operates. 
Okay, that I feel like that's a very important uh, thing to grasp the concept of to really truly move forward in your life. So let's get started today by uh, making sure that we are expanded out. Now, if you've never listened to my radio show before, if this is the first time listening, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be expanding out the energy space and consciousness of who you be, not your body, right? Because the energy space and consciousness of who you be, that's like your soul, if you will. Um, and that's who you are, right? And your soul is not within your body. Your body is within your soul and your soul is this big huge energy space and consciousness and your soul can expand out as big as you desire it to go now when i feel like i say soul i think probably most of the reason why i don't really use the word soul very often is because the word soul has a lot of points of view on it right when we think of the word soul, we have a lot of viewpoints about what soul means. And this is exactly what I'm talking about today. Okay. So this is totally relevant. So when I say the word soul, you have all these reference points to what a soul is to you, right? Now, when I say energy, space, and consciousness, you might not have ever even heard that before. And if you have heard it, you may have only heard it in the contents of listening to my radio show or maybe listening to something else. Uh, but essentially, you don't have a lot of reference points. You don't have a lot of form and structure. You don't have a lot of significance around what that means for you. And so when you don't have a lot of significance about what energy, space, and consciousness means to you, what happens is is you don't have a lot of limitation around it. You don't have a lot of restriction around it. You don't have a lot of uh, um, just solidity, right? So you can listen to the sound of my voice and you can allow your being to expand as far as I am asking you or guiding you to expand to, right? But as soon as I say soul, it's like, oh, well, I have a lot of points of view. Maybe the soul is only this big. Um, maybe the soul has a lot of pain attached to it. I mean, you, you, you may have a lot of these points of views that automatically put you into the box of assuming what soul means, okay? This is exactly what this reality's matrix does, right? It has us classify everything, has us put everything within definition, right? Well, as we're evolving, as we're shifting and changing, the key here is to get out of those definitions, to get out of that form and structure so you can start creating a matrix reality, a new matrix that truly and completely works for you. So as I'm looking at this energy, space, and consciousness, it's like there's, when I use that phrase, there's a ton more space that's available to us when I say soul, right? So we're going to go back to what we were going to do here. We're going, we're going to expand. Okay. So we're going to take the energy space and consciousness of who you be. It's basically your being. So when your body dies, you still have your being, right? You still have the energy space and consciousness of you. So what we're going to do today is we are going to take that energy of our being, not our body, and we're going to allow that being to expand into the space of who we truly be. Now, that being is a lot of space, right? It's way more space than we are allowed uh, to be, or we have even been taught to be, especially in this lifetime. Not very many people tell us uh, the true space of who we can be. So, one of the first things that I always practice is making sure that we are expanded, making sure that we are truly in the space of who we be. We're not operating from this lack and limitations, these little tiny can, these little tiny places and spaces where you're not allowed to access you. So let's go ahead and take some nice deep breaths today. And as you take these nice deep breaths, what we're going to do is we're going to put our barriers down, our barriers down, our barriers down, our barriers down. And just keep taking some nice deep breaths. And let's go ahead and expand out. Make yourself as big as the building that you're in. And you're just going to allow your being to expand, not your body. So your being's going to go all the way out, all the way up, and all the way down. And take some nice deep breaths.
and go ahead and make yourself as big as the city that you're in. Go all the way out and all the way down and all the way up. So you're going into the earth as big as your city is wide and, and long, right? And let's go ahead and make yourself as big as the state that you're in. Go all the way out and all the way down and all the way up. And as big as the country that you're in, all the way out and all the way down and all the way up. Bigger, faster, bigger, faster, bigger, faster, bigger, faster. I think I may have um, went way too far, right? We just went from the city to the country. Is that what we just did? Okay, well, we're just going to keep going then. Go ahead and make yourself as big as the planet that we're all on. We're going to go bigger, faster, bigger, faster, bigger, faster. We're going to go all the way through the planet, making ourselves as big as the planet actually is, becoming one with everyone and everything. There we go. And, and as you're expanding, you may feel kind of just like this space where you're kind of taking these deep breaths, and that just means that your body is expanding. You're taking on more and more space. You don't have to be or do anything. You just have to listen and allow your being to expand. So go ahead and make yourself as big as the universe. And the multiverse, multiple universes. And times that by a million, 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 all the way out to the space of who you be. As the infinite being that you be. Bigger, faster, bigger, faster, bigger, faster, bigger, faster. Awesome. Yeah, and just make sure you're all the way out to the space of who you be. There we go. As the infinite being that you be. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of energy on this today. So this should be really good um, as we kind of dive into how this reality's matrix system operates and why it's so hard for you to not be the effect of everyone and everything. So as we expand out all the way out to the space of who we be, in that space of you, in the energy, space, and consciousness of who you be, within that space of you is all of the decisions. Everything you've decided is real and true. Every single thing that you've believed to be real and true about your life. Every single belief system you've ever bought into. So when I'm talking about a belief system, I'm saying, let's say, you know, right now we're, we're you know, there's a ton of people talking about uh, the election, at least here in the U.S., right? Um, and if you're from another country, I, I don't know. I don't really follow politics very much, but I, I'm just going to use this as an example because I feel like uh, most people can relate to this. And um, so basically, if you define yourself as a Republican, let's just say, or a Democrat, or a independent, or a socialist, or a, um, every single one of these structures, so let's just take Democrat, for instance, okay? Once you decide that you are a Democrat, once you call yourself a Democrat, once you put yourself in the Democrat category, okay, the Democrat party, and this is true for anything, this is not just true for political structure, but this is true for if you call yourself a Catholic or a Baptist or a, a, a Hindu or a what, whatever religious system that you, um, you define yourself as. Um, this is true for even categories like, okay, I'm a mom. So um, there is form and structure around mom, right? So even being a mother has um, its very own form and structure. So I'm going to take this as an example. So when I say I'm a Democrat, everything that a Democrat is, every single definition of a Democrat is created as a form and structure within the system of the matrix, okay? So if I identify as a Democrat, okay, 
then I actually store the energy, space, and consciousness of, of the belief system of what a Democrat is. So every single thing that a Democrat is, every single thing that um, is uh, around the form and structure of a Democrat, and this is like within the matrix structure, okay? So we look at Democrat, right? The Democrat has a ton of definition and it has a lot of things that it means. And that is the form and structure that's set up within the matrix. So when I claim myself as being a Democrat, then I automatically energetically align and agree within that matrix system and that system becomes part of my energy space and consciousness okay so every single thing that i claim and own every single thing i define myself as if i'm a mother if i'm a grandma if i'm a a, a a socialist if I'm a all of the things that I decide about myself and every single thing I've ever claimed and owned within a belief system gets energetically implanted somewhere in the energy space and consciousness of who I am and this is how I relate to the people around me right but this is also how energetically I am tied within the matrix okay now my experiences are also stored within there as well. So um, let's take the uh, the energy of like being frustrated. Okay, so all of these will tie in. So if I'm a Democrat and I'm frustrated about being a Democrat, okay, I'm going to have a whole bunch of energy around uh, frustration. I'm going to have um, I'm going to have frustration energy within my form and structure around Democrat, okay? But I'm also going to have that frustration energy is going to kind of spill over into other um, form and structures, other areas of my life, right? Other places and spaces within my energy, space, and consciousness. Now, what happens is when I go somewhere let's say i go to the grocery store okay now i'm an infinite being and i'm expanded out into the you know energy space and consciousness of who i am or maybe i'm not maybe i'm just do to do to do i'm just going about my day okay and i have this big huge area of frustration planted in my field of my energy space and consciousness okay now what happens is my body is receiving organ okay that's that's just a proven fact our bodies are receiving organs right our eyes see our nose smells our mouth tastes our ears hear our skin absorbs so we're walking through the grocery store and our skin is absorbing energy from everyone and everything within that grocery store now, the things that we will pick up on the strongest are already the things that we have energetically planted within our matrix system, within the energy, space, and consciousness of who we be, because what will happen is, is our body will perceive information, right? And the things that we don't understand, the things that we don't experience, the things that we maybe never experience, like, like, um, Let's say we see, uh, you know, I'll just use me as an example. I'm walking through the grocery store, right? And I'm around, a, I just seen a little story on Facebook. It was such a great little story, but it was about a woman who is a foster mom. Now, personally, I've really considered being a foster mom and it is something that I would like to choose, but it's not something that I understand at this point in my life because I've never been one. Now I've been a regular mom right? But I've never been, I've never, I've never experienced um, what it might be like to be a foster parent, okay? So if I'm around a, a woman and, and, and I'm just using this as, as one general example, but um, if I'm around her and I don't really have anything that we energetically align with, I might receive a little bit of information from her, but I might not really receive a whole lot at all because a lot of the form and structure and the matrix systems that she is operating within um, 
I don't identify with, right? I've never claimed to know. Like, let's say maybe she's a, um, a religion I've never identified with. She identifies with a political party I've never identified with. Um, she has a mother, yes, but she she mostly identifies herself as being a foster mother, and it's it's not the same exact construct, okay? So I might not pick up a, a ton of, like, information energetically about her but then another lady comes over and man she is just frustrated and her kids are getting on her nerves and and she's having a bad day and and she's just really really energetically charged I and I have those same form and structures in there like I have the frustration I have oh my kids are getting on my nerves I have the whole like I have all of these same constructs that she's believing to be real and true that she's bought into and within her reality stored within my reality then when I perceive her, I might not be frustrated at that moment. I might be having just a fun old time grocery shopping all by myself. My kids aren't with me. I'm having a great day, blah, 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 right? But she walks by me and all of a sudden, I feel all this anger inside of me and I'm like, oh, I'm angry, but I don't even know why, right? And I, and I start like feeling frustrated and I start feeling uncomfortable and I'm in the grocery store and I'm like, oh, this and all of a sudden I perceive that energy and I start claiming it on it by saying things like, oh, I must be angry because yesterday um, so-and-so said this and I must still be processing that and it's making me mad. Because what, what we do as receivers is oftentimes we will perceive information from those around us, right? From within the form and structure that we already have built from within the matrix construct that we already understand. Okay. And so I perceive that information from her. It starts lighting up my field like crazy. Like, you know, it's like fireworks going off in my field, right? It's like, poo, poo, poo. all of this energy space and consciousness that a lot that is aligning and agreeing within the energy space and consciousness of who she is, is all lighting up. And all of a sudden I'm just overcome with all of the same emotion, right? But I don't, I don't identify with it being like, oh, this isn't mine because nobody really ever tells me how I operate energetically within this world. So then I, then I instantaneously decide that, oh, I'm just angry right now. I'm frustrated right now. Um, you know, all of a sudden I'm just overcome with all of this emotion and I, I go right to what's wrong with me, right? Because that is really truly a lot of what this reality teaches us. When you're little tiny and you um, you go to school and you're feeling really nervous and you're feeling really anxious and you're perceiving everyone's anxiousness in the classroom, right? Because you already kind of have that energy stored within your energy space and consciousness because maybe your mom was is very anxious. And so when you're born onto your mom, right, you look at your mom's energy space and consciousness and you go, oh, I love my mom so much. Like she's my world, right? And my mom is, she has this big pile of anxiousness here where she always feels uncertain about life and and she's always um upset about things and I don't as a child I don't look at that and go oh that's a bad thing I look at that and go oh I love my mommy very much and she has this this big field energetically of this energy of anxiety it must be really really important because my mommy has so much of it so I am going to energetically take on that same energy within my field right? And so I'm going to plant a whole bunch of anxiety in my field because it feels like it's very important because I can feel it in my mom, right? So then she's this little five-year-old and she's at school and she's perceiving not only her own anxiety, but everyone's anxiety in the classroom. And all of a sudden her belly hurts really, really bad. And instead of going, um, she says, oh, you know, I I'm overwhelmed basically is what's going on. And the teacher says, Oh, well, what's wrong with you? And, and all of a sudden, and I'm not trying to make teachers wrong here, but I'm just using this as an example. All of a sudden, right. We start internalizing when we get overwhelmed with emotion, we start deciding that overwhelmed with emotion means something is wrong with my body. Yeah, and everything, all of that is, and we're just going to take the energy of all of that, 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 all of that. Can we just choose to remove 
all of that from all of the universes. And can we just choose that now? And vapor, I am as he pressed, 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 he p
so many people are identifying with form and structure and significance. And when I say form and structure and significance, it mostly to me means like energies that aren't theirs. And what we do is we internalize that energy, right? We bring it into our body and then we try to figure out what it is that's causing it. When really there might not be anything wrong with you at all. It might just be an over-processing of information that doesn't even belong to you. Yeah, and everything, all of that is right there. Can we just choose to remove all of that from all of the universes? And can we just choose that now? So all of this stuff, all of this form and structure and significance and all this stuff that you have stored within your energy space and consciousness as real and true, um, the universe looks at this information, right? And the universe goes, oh, okay. Um, and I talked about this uh, last week, even on my radio show. And again, like I've probably talked about this a million times, but the universe is always looking to what you have stored within the energy space and consciousness of you to give you the way that your reality is showing up. It's just continuously frequency matching, continuously frequency matching, continuously frequency matching, right? Oh, you look at, you got a big, a big uh, patch of frustration. You like to be frustrated about traffic. You like to be frustrated about your job. You like to be frustrated about your family. You like to be frustrated about your spouse. You like to be frustrated about your kids. You like to be frustrated about the mail. I don't know. You like to be frustrated about the newspaper, right? All of these things. And then the universe goes, okay, well, energetically, it's going to just align you within those experiences that match. because that's your form and structure. That's how your reality is set up and it's in alignment within the matrix reality because the matrix reality has a billion, billion different possibilities. But as an earth being, we are set up within the matrix reality and you have to fill your energy space and consciousness up with some type of form and structure because you have to have reference points to what makes you who you are. So whatever you believe to be true about who you are and what your life is and the systems and structures and belief systems and constructs and things that you have decided are real and true about you that make you connected to this world, that make it you connected to the people around you, that's how you show up in this world. That's how you relate to this world. You know, so often um, I'll talk to somebody or work with somebody who is, let's say, I'm going to use the example of like Catholic. Okay. Maybe they were raised in the Catholic church and they don't necessarily really identify as being a Catholic person anymore. But when they think about being Catholic, there's still a lot of energy around it. There's still a lot of charge. There's still a lot of maybe even upset or hurt feelings or um, anger or whatever, whatever they have their point of view about it now. But see, the thing is, is the only reason that that energy is still existing there is because they still have the form and structure set up and they're in resistance of the form and structure. Like if I identified as Catholic when I was young and then when I, did, when I was in my 20s decided I didn't want to be Catholic anymore, what you have to do is you have to release and remove that form and structure around where you decided you were that so you can fill that with what you want to become. Now, if you haven't really been able to untangle the form and structure around that, it's because you have a lot of points of view about what it means and it's energetically solidifying it as being deeper and deeper and deeper and then you're continuously having to fight against it because you don't want it any longer. Yeah, and everything, all of that is, can we just choose to remove all of that from all of the universes and can we just choose that now? And they price, 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 they price. Now there's an easier way to do it, right? Because you can untangle and unwind yourself from within that form and structure of being Catholic, okay? And you can actually release that form and structure. You can release that matrix system and you can actually start looking at, hey, what is it that I want to identify within the religious structure? 
what and and maybe it's not even a belief system maybe it's just more of a point of a, a line of points of views that you would like to take on that um would give you more space like when i look at the catholic religion like um there's a lot of places where i know a lot of people don't like uh, a lot of it right because there is still a lot of judgment that exists within the system right but maybe there are some some points of views and some morals and some and some viewpoints that they they love still about the catholic system so maybe you want to take those viewpoints from that but you don't want to stay in alignment within the system because if you stay in alignment within the system then you're going to continuously be fighting against this form and structure of it as a whole yeah, and everything, all of that is. Can we just choose to remove all of that from all of the universes? And can we just choose that now? And the prize, 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 the prize. So the thing that I'm getting at here in the in the grand scheme of it is is you can set your reality up however you would like to set your reality up as long as you understand how your reality is being built, right? When you understand how your matrix reality is existing around you, what things that you have identified with, what things you have decided are real and true about you, you can untangle from within those structures, within the form and structure of that, and you can actually allow yourself to live something different right? You're continuously the effect of it based on how you have it stored as real and true. Like if, if, um, you hate the Catholic religious system, right? And you feel like you're continuously maybe, and this is how kind of this works, right? Let's say like, uh, I'll take something that people pick on a lot, right? Jehovah Witnesses. Now, I don't really know much about Jehovah Witnesses and, um, Personally, I don't really have a point of view about it, okay? So Jehovah Witnesses never show up at my door. I have literally never in my life had a Jehovah Witness show up at my door, ever, okay? But I've never really, I don't really know the Jehovah Witness system, and I don't really, again, like, I don't want to say I don't care, but I kind of don't. Like, I don't really have a point of view about it. <laughs> Okay. Um, now I know that like in the area that I live in, there's all kinds of Jehovah Witness um, little sanctuaries. I think they are, I don't know, buildings where they live or worship or stay. Okay. And there's actually one right around the corner from where I used to live. People were always complaining about how the Jehovah Witnesses were always coming to their door. Okay. I never had that experience ever. Now, maybe it was because I was younger and I wasn't paying attention, but I don't ever remember it happening. Now, I know that there's people that live in my area and complain about it. Like I see I'm complaining about it on Facebook, right? Well, I don't have that issue. And I know that every time that they complain about that, it's actually contributing form and structure, which is saying to the universe, right? Jehovah Witnesses should come to my door. It's not saying Jehovah Witnesses shouldn't come to my door. Now, I know that's kind of a silly example, but that's how we build our everyday life. Okay, I don't really care either way. Like, I don't have a point of view, so I don't have an energetic attachment to it. So it's not part of creation of my reality. Because I have no matrix form and structure, and even if it did occur, like even if tomorrow it did occur, I'm not going to have... I'm not going to say it makes me exempt because there's still things that can happen outside of your possibility. And especially now I'm talking about it and I don't know about you guys, but, um, and I, I think that we can all identify we're becoming stronger and stronger creators. So even talking about this may actually even create it as being a reality as soon as tomorrow. And if it does happen, I'm not going to have a resistance to it. So it's not going to lock in energetically and then be created as form and structure within my reality. I hope that makes sense. I'm hoping I'm making sense with all of this. Yeah, more space, more space, more space, more space, more space, more space. So with all of that being said, you can change your life by understanding these concepts and actually truly digging into, because it's, it's, it's not as simple as just saying, oh, I identified 
as being Catholic when I was little. So um, I just have to release the Catholic system and then my whole life's going to be different. It's, it's like, it's like you have to get clear about what you have stored, what you're in resistance, resistance of, um, what points of views that you believe to be true that are actually creating things in your world that you no longer desire. Um, and as you get clearer and clearer and clearer about where you're functioning at energetically and you can go in and you can make these shifts and changes, what you start to do is you start to build a new matrix form and structure. You start to build a new place within that you are functioning. So I just finished up this free series um, that again is now available on my website. Um, you may have actually listened to the free series. Uh, and if you have, um, you can, you get what I'm talking about here, uh, maybe even a little bit deeper because I talk about in that series, I talk about um, experiences in my life, right? Um, things that I uh, experienced that created certain energy in my universe that then continued to kind of create my life on the way out, right? But then I also talk about um, experiences that I've had recently where because I have spent time releasing form and structure around certain things, um, my reality shows up differently, okay? So there's places and spaces where, and, and I'll just kind of explain this really fast. I'm not going to really go into detail about the story right this moment, but, um, you know, being a mom, there's, there's a lot of energy around what you have to show up as a mom, right? Things you have to do as a mom, how you have to worry, how you have to stress and, and, uh, you know, uh, continuously um, be in this place where you're always watching out for your children and looking at after them and even up until when they're adults, right? And I know that I see people posting this kind of stuff all the time on social media about how they still worry so much about their adult children. So I had an experience recently that I talked about in that free series um, about how now, how differently I show up now with my children and, you know, my youngest daughter is 15. So, you know, I have, um, I have all older children at this point and, um, and a young adult and how differently I am able to show up now because I have released myself from a lot of the form and structure from within, I had identified about what a parent means, what a mom is, what a, how a mom functions. You know, um, it, it really truly does shift and change when you become aware of what the definitions mean, what you have aligned and agreed with, and uh, how that's creating in your life. You know, if you're continuously feeling overwhelmed by different emotions, different upsets that really feel like they rule your day. Might, most of that probably isn't even your conscious choice anymore. It's that ping-ponging energy of continuously going through the matrix system and continuously picking up energies that agree and align within that throughout your day. You may experience feeling kind of like uh, overwhelmed and irritated uh, for no real solid reasons. If you struggle with making daily choices, understanding what works for your life and why everything has to be so hard, it's really truly because you are not in form and structure that works for your life. You're cycling in energies that don't. Yeah, if you're continuously feeling anxious, foggy-headed, uncomfortable all the time. It's really because you're perceiving information, you're in the overwhelm of the matrix, right? You're continuously receiving information from everyone all the time. You're categorize, categorizing that information all the time, right? And then you're continuously identifying within it, even when most of it, probably isn't really even yours. And that's really why, you know, people still struggle with trauma experiences, 10, 15, 20, or abuse experiences, or uh, lack experiences, right? 10, 20, 30, 40 years later, you know, when, when it's been 30 years and people are saying, you know, this still bothers me to this day, it's because there is so much form and structure around that energy 
And what they're doing is all day long, they're continuously being ping ponged by those around them, strangers, neighbors, uh, you know, family members that also have that same energetic alignment. And it's just continuously lighting that energy up all the time. So they're continuously aware of it right? And most of the time, what do we do, especially if it's in a situation that's uncomfortable, we go into resistance of it, right? So it's always playing in the back of our mind, right? That energy is always playing in the back of our mind. It doesn't matter if we're in the grocery store, if we're at home doing dishes, if we're at work trying to get stuff done. It's like it's always playing. We're, we always have that memory of um, these old instances that feel painful, that feel upsetting, and that's because they're continuously getting triggered energetically. Yeah, and everything, all of that is, can we just choose to remove all of that from all of the universes, and can we just choose that now? Vaporize, 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 and what this does is it also, it, it really truly creates your whole life because then from there, energetically, you have all of this upset stored. So you surround yourself by people um, that have that same energy stored. So then it's just like you have this constant resistance, right? So you're continuously surrounded by people that maybe don't honor you, maybe don't work for your life, maybe don't um, really align with anything that really um, is fun or good for you. Um, you probably, uh, you you will choose jobs that are in alignment with that same stressful, um, anxious energy that you already have stored within your energy, space, and consciousness. And you tend to also emotionally involve yourself, invest yourself in people who have that same energy too. So then you're constantly in resistance of each other, right? That causes all kinds of emotional pain. Um, it causes all kinds of distress in your life. I mean, it's just like, what you have stored energetically is literally creating the, light, the way that your life is showing up. And when you change that energy space and consciousness, you understand, you truly get it to your core that you are intuitively aware of everyone and everything. You get that things that happened to you in the past happened for a reason and you fully understand the energy of it so you no longer have to be the effect of that. You get to a certain place where you're aware of how your energies create and you make sure that your daily choices are in alignment with that. And instead of cycling and not knowing and and um, overwhelm and upset you're capable and able to feel into any situation and feel what energy every situation is going to create in your life you you become this energy of an alignment with where you want to go you're strong enough to say no to things that don't work for you these are all things that that shift and change when you go from being the effective energy and the form and structure around you to to being the conscious creator of what you want your reality to be. You truly get how energy creates and you get how your choices create and, and you're able to put your boundaries down in a way that's able to create your life completely differently. So to make that shift, I have this amazing new course that's coming and this is going to be, I'm going to, I'm just going to claim it right now. This is going to be my most epic course yet. Okay. Because this is going to take you from that energy of unconsciousness, from that place where you're, you know, you're continuously overwhelmed by emotions and upsets that, that ru rule your day, right? Um, that overwhelm, that irritation, that, that feeling that, you know, I don't know why I feel this way, um, energy out. Because if you don't know why you feel a certain way that you feel all of the time, it's because you're struggling with how you are processing energy and what you have stored within your energy space and consciousness. If you feel like you can't make a conscious choice in your life, you're constantly overwhelmed, foggy headed, uncomfortable, surrounded by people that don't work for you, um, working a job that you hate, uh, are an emotion emotionally invested in people who continually hurt you. You are in form and structure that you have identified with that you are continually being overwhelmed with that does not work for you. You have to make that shift 
to understanding not only how energy works, fully understanding not only how energy works, but fully understanding what it is that you have stored energetically that is creating that. And, and the thing about this is you don't have to go to every single thing that you have stored. You just have to understand where your emotions are, what your head is telling you. You, know, you have to slow down enough and release enough of the, the, the resistance that you have to actually listen to what your head is saying to you. We are in such hardcore, strong resistance of what our head is saying. And what happens is you go to that intuitively aware person that, that really truly understands how to move forward in their life, how to make choices with things that we're actually going to uh, create form and structure that works for their life. You're going to understand that you have to be motivated and inspired. And, and that's a big part of it, right? When you're continuously overwhelmed, especially energetically, you have no motivation. You have, you have no inspiration to create your life. It's like it's overwhelming to even think about any of it. You're tired. You're over it. You're so done being here. It just feels heavy and hard. And when you make that shift, to being motivated and inspired, it, it all comes from understanding and it comes from getting clear and it comes from allowing yourself to really truly dig deep and shift and change that. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this new series that I am starting in just a couple weeks here. So if you're really ready to slow down and get present in your life, if you're ready to empower yourself to be and do differently, if you're ready to commit to yourself that this time you will be different, and maybe you have said that a million times. Maybe you've said, this time I'm actually going to really truly follow through with this. I'm really truly going to make this happen for myself. And then you didn't, and then you felt bad, and then you felt guilty, and then you felt shame, right? And then you just went, ah, oh, F it. I'm just not going to think about it anymore. I'm going to push it to the back burner, and I, it's too painful to even look at. This time you can change it because you're going to have me here to support you and you're going to have a whole group of other people that are just like us that are truly ready to change their life. And I'm going to give you that motivation and not only that, but I'm going to give you the tools to really truly dive in and change this stuff for yourself. There's no more settling for the same life over and over. Aren't you done with that? You know, I have people I help right now who are, you know, in their 50s and 60s and 70s, and they just feel like they've been struggling with these same problems their whole life. I mean, how much longer are you willing to live with those limitations for yourself? Now is the time to learn to show up, to learn a new way to be and show up as the new way you want to be right this very moment. There's no more time and space to be stuck in this upset. This, this new program is called The Conscious Empath, and it will take you on an inward journey of connecting to you, learning who you are and what works for you. We're going to be clearing, releasing yourself from everything that isn't you, okay? Everything. All this form and structure that you're identifying with that doesn't work for you, I'm going to show you how to get that out of there. I'm going to show you how to get clear about what you have stored and then get clear about what it is that you desire. And I'm going to show you how to move forward with accountable actions. I'm going to tell you right now that this program is not for those who give up easily. This program is going to be an inner journey of quieting your mind and allowing the, your being to show up scars and all, right? Every single piece of you. And here, together, we're going to shed the layers of upset, disappointment, shame, blame. I'm going to show you how to move forward empowered and in control of your life. Yeah, so 
I'm almost out of time here, but I'm kind of just going to run through here what the conscious empath is going to include. So it's going to be six different modules, okay? And each one of these modules is going to have all kinds of information that you're going to be able to use. These are going to be short audios that you're going to be able to dive into and really change your life. We're going to just jump into a module one is going to be uh, separating you from the noise. Um, it's basically really going to be getting really present with who you are and what you feel like. So when you go somewhere and you identify with energy that's not yours, you're going to be able to say right away, okay, I get that. That's not me. That's not what I feel like. Okay. That's kind of the purpose of module one. We want to get you really clear about who you are and what you feel like. And I'm going to give you lots of tools, including, you know, we're going to talk about expanding, but we're also going to talk about vortexing. I'm going to talk about um, really truly how to get into the energy of you. So module two is going to be clearing out the pain. We're going to be really firing that inner critic inside of you. Um, get clear about that pain that you're holding on to, and we're just going to clear it out for good. Okay, we're going to dive into all that head noise, and we're going to untangle it from your system. Really, truly getting clear about that, that replaying information that's keeping you stuck in those old form and structures. Um, then we're going to go into module three, which we're going to unpack that deep-rooted trauma. Okay, so we're going to dive deep into that really deep stuff uh, that, that kind of like allows that old experience that shapes you from like who the connection points to who you think you are and what you can choose and why you're so limited. So we're going to really get into unpacking that deep rooted trauma so you can have a, a different thing show up for you. Uh, module four, we're going to create healthy boundaries. We're going to learn to say no. We're going to release everything and anything that no longer works for us. And we're going to step into awareness of how things affect you and learn to make decisions about your life with ease. Uh, module number five, we're going to um, really truly make conscious choices uh, to what it is that you would like to do and create moving forward. So we're going to learn how to feel our truth, right? How to feel that truth in your body and, and, and learn how to follow it with ease. And module number six, which is the last one, um, we're going to set goals and we're going to learn how to frequency match them and create a life you love by implementing these daily rituals to create more of you for ease. So you guys, this program really truly is going to be a showstopper, okay? This is going to be six whole months um, of information that you can take piece by piece and you can actually take as long as you would like to complete it. So if it takes you longer than six months, that's okay. Um, but essentially, I mean, this is going to give you a guidebook on how to live your life as an energetically sensitive person, as an empath, as an intuitive, and really give you tools that you can not only use for yourself, but you can use to teach others as well. Uh, I think it's super cool. All of the people who've been taking stuff from me have been really showing up with a lot of people that they're introducing to it now. So I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And I am fastly running out of time here. So I just want to say that this program is right now available on my website. Um, this whole complete program is only $497 and I do have a payment plan. So if you're ready to change your life and you're ready to show up differently now, this program is not only just the self-study modules, but also I'm going to have live calls um, with me where you can ask me questions. You can talk to me. Plus we're going to have a Facebook group where you can interact um, with the community, with the other people who are just like you and maybe make some friends and some connections that maybe you can carry over to creating your um, your new life right um, a life that works for you so with all that being said I just want to say thank you so much for joining me again you can go to my website uh, Jamie J-A-M-I-E dash Bates B-A-T-E-S and check out more information dot com uh, and let me know if uh, you'll be joining us I hope to see you I'm super excited and this program is really truly going to be a game changer so thank you so much for listening to me today and I will talk to you soon have a great day you have been listening to expand your reality with your host Jamie Bates Thank you for listening. 